Medieval texts such as the Sangeeta Ratnakara describe a very large number of compositional forms. Now, um, khayal as a genre includes primarily khayal the compositional form in various talas and various layas. But traditionally, there were a few other compositional forms that were included in khayal presentations that were performed in khayal concerts. These are compositional forms called Chaturanga, Tarana, Trivat, Khayalunama, etc. Now, um, in khayal presentations today, uh, Tarana as a compositional form is frequently included. And uh, we will take a brief look at Tarana in this uh, video. Satarana in the Rag Bihag. The words or the uh, syllables do not make any meaning, at least not obviously. There are some musicians and scholars who suggest that there are hidden meanings, but uh, on the face of it, the text of the Tarana consists of meaningless syllables and also the uh, syllables or bowl of the blind Pakhavaj. In this tarana, the tarana that you just heard, yalalamu, tanadere, etc., are meaningless syllables. Why? While dhakitataka, dhikta, krandha, etc., are 
Pakhavich bowls. Now there is uh, an ancient tradition of meaningless syllables in music. Uh, now this is not surprising in a culture where the mere sound of syllables are regarded as potent and vested with spiritual properties. So just the sound of uh, syllables uh, are regarded as powerful and uh, since ancient times there is a tradition of uh, having meaningless syllables in music and uh, tarana as a compositional form can be situated within this tradition. There are others who credit the tarana as found in Hindustani music today to Amir Khusro. Uh, it is well known that he introduced the Kaul and the Tarana as part of the repertoire of Kavali, that is the congregational spiritual music sung in Sufi gatherings. And typically, Taranas are in Drutlaya and less often in Madhyalaya. There are also Vilambitlaya taranas, but they are hardly performed today. And uh, the tarana is usually presented as a virtuosic climactic finale of a raga suite and is uh, usually presented with tans hmm, uh, in dazzling speed and various patterns. Now, some uh, musicians, some schools specialize uh, in display of rhythmic virtuosity too, using the text of the song. A trivat is a similar form, but here the text of the song only consists of the syllables naming Pakhavaj and Tabla bowls. Let us take a listen to a trivat, Indirag, Adana and Tintal. next video, we will take a look at elements or strategies of improvisation in Khayal. <laughs>